If I was to do a series of how-to nature photography videos in spring and I didn't talk about birds, I'd be labeled a national disgrace because you can't talk about spring without talking about birds. So in this video, I'm gonna go through a few tips about how to get some cool bird shots. We'll start with the basics, move on to building a budget hide, and I'll cover how to use the phone in your pocket to get up close and personal. As for gear, I'll be using a Canon 6D DSLR, an older GoPro, and a beat-up iPhone. If you're getting into bird photography, there's nothing better than just sitting out and waiting to see what shows up. Find the pattern of these birds, find the routine of these birds. The more you know about the way an animal behaves and moves, the better the odds are that you're gonna get a great photo. Always try to photograph birds from eye level. This creates a kind of intimacy and relationship for the viewer. When you're shooting a common animal, you want to try to shoot it in an uncommon way. Create a scene. There's this old gravestone here, a literal symbol of death, and a robin landed on top of it and kind of looked down. And of course, the robin is the symbol of spring and rebirth. Flowers make such a great setting for birds. So if you could incorporate that into your photo, you're going to be super happy with the results. Kind of hard to tell from here. I think they're grackles, but there's this iridescent black and blue bird that, that just left the yellow flowers. And like just as it was leaving, popped out the dark bird leaving the yellow flowers. It looks like it's its little palace, like that's that's where it lives, and it's walking out of its floral kingdom to go find a worm. There's a story I really want to capture over here. There's a little hole with a bird flying in and out of it and making a nest. Now, chances are because that bird is nesting, it's pretty weary of strangers, especially ones with massive cameras. So I'm gonna camp out and use a really cheap hide. A hide is uh, set up like a tent or something like that that's camouflaged that you hide in when you're trying to get photos of an animal that doesn't want to be seen. So I just got this little three-legged stool. I'm gonna pop down here. This is the camouflage element comes in. This is just a blanket that lives on my couch. So I'm just gonna camp out under here and try to cover as much as my lens as possible because that, that really sticks out. And I'm gonna stay still and just wait for something to happen. I'm speaking to you from inside this hide. I'm sure it looks a little silly, but it is working beautifully. Cozy. There it is. There's a lot more to bird photography than long lenses. You can get some awesome photos with what's just in your pocket. The idea is that we're gonna take a cell phone and a GoPro and set it up by some bird seed. The hope is that we're gonna get a really intimate, unique angle of some birds doing bird stuff. For the last couple of days, we haven't been putting bird seed in a bird feeder. We've been leaving it out here. I'm gonna put the phone and the GoPro in a spot that I think we're gonna get a cool angle on, on, on some of these birds. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna leave the GoPro and the phone running. We're just gonna leave them doing a time lapse, taking a photo every half second. So that way we can go in and pull out the still images that, that we want. Hopefully we're gonna get something nuts. I'm gonna to try to do something a little bit different with this GoPro. I noticed there's a hole in the top here, there's a hole in the wood. So I'm actually gonna put this in the hole pointing up. And I wanna see if I could get a bird kind of looking down, eating it, pecking, pecking at the lens. All set up, here we go. <laughs> this is busy, this worked. When you're doing this, try lots of different angles for different results. Like with all wildlife photography, you might not get the bird shot you want on day one. A persistence is always rewarded. 